Hey guys. Hi. <laughs> this is Julie. She's doing her online class um, answering, is that reading questions? English. So we, uh, about last month, had our boxes from Manila shipped in to Boracay since um, we have no plans of going back there anytime soon. And in one of those boxes, I am reunited with this clear water bottle. It's a glass bottle with a rose quartz inside. So basically it's affixed to it so I can flip it over and the rose quartz is in there. And when I saw this online before, I just had to have it. I actually got the um, amethyst one as well and then the fluorite. It's okay. Fluorite for um, Reggie and the reason I like it is because I've actually been working with Elixirs since 2014, 2013. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Daddy's over there outside yeah. making a phone call. And, you know, I used to have to do it like the traditional way, and you have to really understand which crystals can be um, placed directly in water and ingested and which ones have to do an indirect method for you to be able to drink the water safe enough as some uh, stones and crystals have some uh, minerals that may be poisonous for the body but fortunately rose quartz which is the pink stone that we see here today is perfectly safe to be soaked in water that you would later be consuming so this is rose quartz it's often touted as like a bubble bath for the soul. So it's basically a stone that is said to emit pure energies of love. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah? You know how I am so into crystals is that our daughter, this little one over here, what's your name? Julie. W what's your full name? <laughs> so if you're familiar with crystals, we have rose quartz, right? There's smoky quartz, there's fluorite, there's labradorite. And one of the stones which is actually said to help with intuition is that of lapis lazuli. And that is Zuli's full and birth name. It's actually what's on her birth certificate, not just um, a nickname. Her nickname is Zuli. But her birth name is actually Lapis Lazuli because I am just, I love crystals. I feel that I believe in their healing properties, their healing benefits, not just for myself, but for other people as well. I've given stones to friends who after I've given it to them somehow, maybe it's placebo or maybe it just gave them some sort of like belief that, you know, life could be better and they could be stronger. Um, it did give them some benefits and um, an advantage in, in, in overcoming their challenges. And so one of the most favorite ones for me would be lapis lazuli as well as rose quartz, this one right here, and also labradorite. Those are my top three favorites actually. Um, I haven't been getting into crystals in a while because we just got so busy with um, our business and running it and then the whole pandemic and everything but you know being reunited with my rose quartz bottle here kind of gave me that urge to get into it again I used to make crystal grids with crystals I used to make different elixirs and you know what I have been consistent in doing though is every single time we move and we move a lot is I always carry my singing bowl around and my white sage and I consecrate um, the space that we are living in for the moment so whether we are in an apartment or a house or in a condominium I will always walk around in a clockwise direction um, actually counterclock yeah clockwise direction and I'll consecrate the place and the kids actually follow me around and they turn on the lights and they will open drawers, uh, open doors for me. Um, you know, they're very aware of it and they know what I'm doing it for. And that's really to basically get rid of bad vibes in the place that may have been um, there lingering from the previous tenants. So it's basically just cleansing. It's kind of like 
when you you know you have a, a new plate that you purchase or that you inherit or that somebody gives you you don't just use it right away and eat off of it right you go and wash it first under the sink with some soap and water so that's basically kind of like washing the space with clean water clean energy so that it becomes clean for you to use because if we don't then we inherit all of the energies that have been there from the previous tenants or the previous people who have been in that space so this is something that has to be done regularly actually i have not been as regular as i used to i used to cleanse our space every week i think i should um lately i would just cleanse it when we move in and then forget about it because you know we get lost in our daily tasks and and responsibilities but um regularly cleansing your space um, with white sage and stuff will basically be like taking a bath regularly you know it's like you can take a bath today but if you stop taking baths <laughs> no matter how clean you are on the first day right Zuli? you're gonna get dirty and stinky right so we don't want our energy to be dirty and stinky and dusty we need to continuously um clean it not only are we cleaning surfaces and and tangible things things that we can touch and we can see but we're also cleaning the actual space as we all know air is not something we can see but it is very important if not one of the most important things for us to be able to survive without air we are unable to breathe we are unable to to, to live, you know, so it's energy is like air. We can't see it, but it is there. Um, this is why sometimes you enter a room and you feel, all of a sudden you feel sad somehow. You don't know why, but there's like an, an easy feeling and you just want to get out of there. You know, How, have you ever done that? Have you ever visited somebody's home, for example, or some space or a store and you're like, uh, I don't like it here. I don't know why, but I'm going to wait outside for you guys. I don't like staying here that's because your your energy your body's energy is feeling the clash with the energy of that space it might affect people differently but if you're feeling that way then that means there is energy in that space that is clashing with yours and then you know on the opposite end of the spectrum you've got spaces where when you walk into it you're like wow i love this room wow i love this house wow i love this space you know i i could live here and normally these are obviously like really fancy hotel rooms, really fancy shops or fancy looking places because maybe um, the intent of making it look aesthetically beautiful, cleaning it regularly, making it look nice, making it smell nice, it is conducive to creating a very positive energy vibe in the environment. So you're feeling all of that energy. Just as when you walk into a room and it's cluttered, it's dirty, it's dusty, there's mold, there's decaying stuff. You don't want to stay there because all of that physical, uh, physicalities attribute to the energy as well. So not only should we be cleaning our homes with mops and, and you know, brooms and and cloths but we should also be cleaning our energy so in a way an elixir is not just taking baths but it's also giving your soul a bath hence it's like a bubble bath for the soul and this is the rose quartz if you guys like this kind of content let us know comment down below if you have any questions or you yourself have a been kind of um you know experimenting with different kinds of crystals and we you know the effect it has on you because yeah zuli has crystals too and her clear rocket um you know i give them crystals sometimes when they're feeling a little bit scared at night um and they have like you know bad dreams and whatnot but we'll go into that in another video if you'd like so let us know um if you also like crystals which is your favorite crystal and if you'd like to see more content on this please give this video a thumbs up and of course um subscribe if you have not yet already i do have a video on feng shui tips and how to feng shui your bedroom with clear diagrams I'll, I'll put that in the card above so you can check it out but that actually got a lot of views i had no idea that people were like looking for that kind of content and i haven't done another one but i think i should we've moved around so many times that i really literally have like a whole report of um actual results based on certain things and how we switched 
things around to make things better so that they're more feng shui positive. Does that make sense? Um, so I'll, I'll go and start to make uh, more videos like that in the near future. Um, I do have a lot of interests, so I'm sorry if this is the only kind of content that you guys like because I also like playing guitar, I like kung fu, and I like a bunch of other things that sometimes I kind of put into this, these videos. Of course, our businesses, we create um, diamond paintings and paint art by chart, which is paint by numbers, and these are from licensed artists that we have under our um, artist um, collective. Um, so these are a group of artists whose artwork we have licensed specifically for crafting projects and other um, types of products. So yeah, so it's like a mix of all of that stuff. But um, anyway, if you do like this content, let me know so I can kind of make more of it. In the meantime, it is a Tuesday morning and lunchtime is pretty soon. So we've got to go. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye.